Hi, I'm Lance DeLang with Yada Yada. Does your thumb hurt? Do you have a hard time performing that hitchhiker activity last time you were stranded on the side of the road? Do you have pain at the base of your thumb? Perhaps you have a condition that might require surgical intervention, physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, or simply rest. Watch this video to see what you can do. Perhaps you were seen in your orthopedics office or your primary care provider, and perhaps you were told you had a condition called de Quervain's stenosine tenosynovitis or de Quervain's stenosine tenosynovitis. And you said, I have what? This condition isn't nearly as horrible as it sounds. At the base of your thumb, there's a, some tendons that, that come underneath a small canal, which can cause some rubbing or some problems causing pain and discomfort in this area. This problem could be very mild to a simple ache or a light discomfort with certain activities. It can become very limiting and very painful, not allowing you to perform many activities with your thumb at all. With this, the problem occurs at the base of the thumb where the tendons come through a small narrow area. There's some rubbing that can occur in this area. When this occurs, pain might be local just to this specific source. It can extend up the arm or down into the thumb. It can be very debilitating. A quick test, though you may not enjoy it, if you'd like to try this at home yourself, you can take your thumb and close it inside of your finger, closing your fingers around the thumb. If you do this and then you flex your hand in this position and you want to cry and call home to your mama for support, you may have decor veins. It's a very tender activity to perform. If it is healthy and no problems here, I can perform this without difficulty. However, if I have decor veins and I close my thumb and I do this and tears come to my eyes, there's a good chance I have decor veins. If you feel you may have this, there's several things that you can try on your own, perhaps before seeking medical attention. Simple activities such as taking an oral anti-inflammatory, such as an ibuprofen or a naproxen, could help to calm the inflammation. There are over-the-counter prescription medication options where a cream could be performed over the area to calm the inflammation. Ice, of course, could also be applied to calm this scenario to relieve symptoms. Another thing that you could perform is to rest not use the hand. If you find that your activity is caused from a repetitive activity, such as a hammer, for example, backing off from that activity can rest it. If you need more help to rest, there are splints that can be purchased that immobilize the thumb. Many of these are designed with a hard portion inside the wrist, but to protect this, you would need to have the one that comes up and includes the thumb. If the thumb is not able to flex, and the wrist is not able to move in this position, there will not be such stress on this location, which can help to alleviate symptoms. For some people, this is all that is needed to be done. The proper amount of rest, ice, or anti-inflammatories may resolve your symptoms. If, however, you find that these treatments are not adequate, other activities and treatments could be performed. You may need to seek out the help of a medical professional. There could be other problems in this area, perhaps arthritis in some of these locations could mimic some of these symptoms. So you would need to be seen by a healthcare professional to properly diagnose your problem. If you are seen and it is confirmed that you have de Corvains or de Quervins, depending on what part of the country you're from, treatment options could also include a cortisone injection where the injection of the medicine is performed and injected directly into this location. These can be quite tender, so often a local anesthetic would be applied at the same time. Other procedures could include surgical intervention, where after under anesthesia, a surgeon could open up the first dorsal compartment, it is called, to free up the tendons in this location so that this rubbing no longer occurs. In more severe scenarios with this, some patients may have what is called a wet leather sign. If you were to take a piece of wet leather and rub it against another piece of wet leather, often there is a squeaking or rubbing or slight catching that occurs as the two pieces slide. On occasion, you may have what's called a positive wet leather sign. 
perhaps as you flex the wrists or the fingers in this direction, the thumb in this direction, you may hear or feel a squeaking occur as these structures slide past each other. So if you feel you may have decor veins or decorvins or simply pain at the base of your thumb, you can try these simple techniques and if they are unsuccessful, please seek medical help. You don't have to suffer alone. We're here for you. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching.